Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sadani participated yesterday evening, Tuesday, Baghdad time in the official opening of the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, which is held under the title Leaving No One Behind working together for peace, sustainable development and human dignity for present and future generations. Before participating in the UN Hall, he received a number of international officials. On Monday night Baghdad time, Al Sudani received US Deputy Treasury Secretary Wali Adeyemo and a number of officials from the Treasury Department, on the sidelines of his participation in the United Nations General Assembly. A statement by the Prime Minister's media office received by Al Sabah stated that the meeting witnessed discussion of bilateral economic relations between the two countries in various vital sectors, reviewing the government's efforts and plans for economic and financial reform, the move towards diversifying sources of Iraqi output, enhancing development targets, and practical measures implemented in the field of combating money laundering. The Prime Minister confirmed, according to the statement, that the government has made great strides in the financial and banking reform file, and 95% of bank transfers have been completed through the electronic platform, and less than 5% remains to be completed by the end of this year, after which the transition to the correspondent banking system will take place, in accordance with the government's approach and its commitment to raising the capabilities of Iraqi banks, in line with international standards and meeting the needs of the thriving investment environment in Iraq. For his part, the American official praised the progress witnessed by Iraq in the field of economic and banking reforms that were achieved in record time, and the state of economic growth that reached a total of about 6%, which enhances the government's efforts in development expressing readiness to cooperate and work within a bilateral partnership that serves the interests of economic development. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani also received, on Monday evening Baghdad time, the U.S. President's envoy for kidnapped affairs, Ambassador Roger Carsonis. The Prime Minister stressed, according to a statement from his office, the importance of working on the file of the kidnapped persons in its humanitarian aspects, indicating that Iraq was and still is making efforts to reveal their fate, in addition to full solidarity with their families. Al Sudani reiterated Iraq's cooperation and work with the governments of the countries of the region to exchange the necessary information related to the kidnapped, and to intensify the search and investigation for the remaining kidnapped Yazidi women especially with the Syrian and Turkish sides. The Iraqi security forces have been directed to work on these files as a humanitarian priority. For his part, Ambassador Carcinis expressed his appreciation for Iraq's efforts in the field of applying human rights standards, adopting them within the government program, following up on cases of enforced disappearance, and cooperating with the countries concerned in this field to uncover the fate of their citizens. Al Sudani received, at his residence in New York, the Director General of the International Organization for Migration IOM, Amy Pope. During the meeting, the file of displaced Iraqis and others in refugee camps was discussed, as well as the facilities provided by the Iraqi government for their voluntary return, in addition to projects to provide services and requirements for a decent life in their areas of residence before their return. Al Sudani, according to a statement from his media office, appreciated the organization's efforts in Iraq, especially its recent participation in providing support for the construction of the Kojo residential complex in Sinjar, stressing the importance of the organization undertaking special programs to address the impact of climate change on the residents of the southern governorates. For her part, Amy Pope confirmed that Iraq is an important partner and the challenges it has faced have given it experience in dealing with many issues of migration and internal displacement, expressing her aspiration to benefit from this experience that made the organization keen on Iraq joining it, as negotiations are taking place between the two sides regarding the mechanism for joining the organization.